हेलो एवरीवन दृष्टि आई एस वेलकम्स यू टू द न्यू सीरीज ऑफ सिंप्लीफाइड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इंडस्ट्री 4.0 पॉइंट ओ द डायमेंशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आर इंट्रोडक्शन द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन इंडस्ट्री 4.0 पॉइंट ओ एनेबलिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इंडिया एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन बेनिफिट्स एंड पोटेंशियल्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट ओ एंड चैलेंजेस टू द फ्यूचर ऑफ वर्क इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट ओ सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन फोर पॉइंट ओ रेफर्स टू द फोर्थ इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन रिलेटेड टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड चेन प्रोडक्शन विच अलाउज द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री to make data driven decisions commonly referred to as the fourth industrial revolution it is a name given to the current trend of automation interconnectivity and data exchange in manufacturing technologies to increase productivity the term industry 4.0 was coined by the german government in 2011 Industry 4.0 is a complex cyber physical systems which synergizes production with digital technologies the internet of things artificial intelligence big data and analytics machine learning and cloud computing Now let's discuss about the evolution of the industrial revolution The first industrial revolution used water and steam power to mechanize production. It was the first instance where production shifted from cottage industry to large production houses or factories. The second industrial revolution used electric power for mass production. That is large scale machines were brought into the picture. huge conveyor belts rolling products one after the other automobiles and production of electricity defined this phase the discovery of computers laid the path for the third revolution the third phase was the most important as the machines which previously were electrically driven became electronically driven that is it used electronics and information technology to automate production it is seen that each revolution took about 100 years to establish and then give way to the next revolution now a fourth industrial revolution is building on the third revolution that is the digital revolution that has been occurring since the middle of the last century It is characterized by a fusion of technologies that is blurring the lines between the physical, digital and biological spheres. Now moving on to industry 4.0 enabling technologies. First is Internet of Things that is IoT. IoT refers to a network of interconnected objects. These objects are physical devices and are billions in number globally the overall expectation from iot is to facilitate advanced connectivity of things services and systems that surpasses machine to machine that is m to m communications and other legacy technologies of a similar purpose next is cyber physical systems simply a new generation of integrations of physical processes with computation and networking processes this is integrating cyberspace with the physical world cyberspace refers to the widespread interconnected digital technology characterized by communication and computing infrastructure cyber physical systems have numerous applications in the following sectors manufacturing energy infrastructure consumer communication military robotics smart buildings healthcare infrastructure and 
transportation among others. Next is smart factories. It describes an environment where equipment and machinery have the ability to enhance manufacturing processes. It is a critical step towards industry 4.0. The enhancement may be achieved via self-optimization as well as automation. Next is radio frequency identification. It is an automated method of identification that utilizes non-contact wireless radio frequency signals wherein information is digitally embedded in RFID tags or smart labels which can be interpreted by radio signals by the reader. Next is Big Data Analytics. IoT systems produce massive amounts of data. The data is produced by smart sensor networks, devices and long files etc in the manufacturing systems. Hence with such different and diverse sources of data, it is expected that the data may be greatly diversified and will be either structured or unstructured or both. Next is cloud computing. It is the delivery of computing services including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics and intelligence over the internet that is the cloud to offer faster innovation, flexible resources and economies of scale. Now let's discuss about India and industrial revolution. India dominated the cotton textile market in the 18th century. It took a severe hit when the industrial revolution began in England around the 1760s. The use of steam power in British mills reduced the cost of cotton by 85%. In order to protect its domestic industry, it began to restrict textile imports from India. On the other hand, it started to import textiles to India. British protectionist laws led to deindustrialization in India. And the new colonial law forced the farmers to grow cash crops like cotton instead of food crops, leading to famine and poverty. The third industrial revolution started in India in the 1980s. Advancement in this phase encompasses the spread of personal computers, internet and ICT. In India, the Industrial Revolution 4.0 is mainly based on big data and artificial intelligence. Industrial Revolution 4.0 helps India as it can play a major role in alleviating poverty. It enhances farmers' income by providing them with the latest technologies, improvement in crop yield through real-time advisory, advanced detection of pest attacks, and prediction of crop prices to inform sowing practices. It will strengthen infrastructure and improve connectivity to the very last village. Artificial intelligence can be used to empower and enable specially abled people. In emerging economies such as India, inclusive development is particularly pertinent in addressing COVID-19's impact. Through the fourth industrial revolution's new age business model, smart corporations and digitally enabled MSMEs can enjoy a symbiotic relationship that promotes greater production efficiency ensures lower time to market as well as higher service satisfaction for customers and other stakeholders. Now let's discuss about the benefits and potentials of Industry 4.0. First is New Business Models. Industry 4.0 is introducing new models of operation for enterprises. An example in smart manufacturing is the factory as a service that is FAAS business model. It allows service providers to present their clients with virtual factories. Next is maximizing asset utilization. 
Since these systems are interconnected and integrated, production is made to be more seamless. It becomes a single end-to-end -end process as opposed to a fragmented combination of processes. This eliminates overlap in roles through the system. Next is labor productivity, efficiency and flexibility. These systems improve the efficiency of the production process by minimizing human error. This also reduces the pressure on personnel to carry out complex, tiresome or potentially dangerous tasks that could be automated. And human labor is freed to fill up new and more effective roles that may improve employee fulfillment. Next is demographic changes. The world's population is aging, putting pressure on business, social institutions and economies. The shortage of a human workforce in a number of rapidly aging economies has necessitated automation. Next is rapid urbanization. The UN projects that by 2050, the world's urban population will increase by some 72%. Rapidly growing cities have become drivers of a new industrial revolution. Next is resource scarcity and climate change. According to the report Global Trends 2030, demand for energy and water is forecast to increase by 50% and 40% respectively by 2030. And jobs in alternative energy, new engineering processes, product design, and waste management and reuse will be created. Now lastly, let's discuss about the challenges to the future of work industry 4.0. First is cyber security. From the perspective of a practitioner, a engineer, cyber security expert in an evolving manufacturing industry, the integrated and distributed nature of Industry 4.0 makes it impossible to completely secure a business from cyber threats due to a number of reasons. First reason is data sharing. With Industry 4.0, sharing of data and intellectual property is done across supply chains and various stakeholders, which means a greater security scope. Next is points of attack. Since these systems involve a number of stakeholders in the value chain as well as consumers, the number of user access points drastically increases. These access points are possible points of attack and convergence of information technology and operational technology. The methods previously used such as anti-malware, intrusion detection systems and firewalls may fall short of the mark when involving software and different types of hardware systems. Next challenge is poor quality employment. Globally, nearly 43% of employed people were in their own account or contributing family work, which is often characterized by low pay, informality and limited social security. Next is income inequality. ILO observes that although workers have become increasingly productive, the benefits of their work have increasingly accrued to capital income and to those at the top of the income distribution. Next is Digital Divide Only 53.6% of all households have internet access. In emerging countries, the share is only 15%. Given the rapid technological advancements, the digital divide remains a key challenge for skill development and employment opportunities. And lastly, impact of technology on employment. There are fears that technological development will lead to job destruction. Automation could be harmful for labor-intensive industries in India, such as textiles, finance, construction, hospitality, travel, tourism, media, electronics, mining, agriculture, transportation, and entertainment. The Indian ICT sector is susceptible to AI or robots 
replacing workers in its major IT export markets. And the retail sector, the largest employer of lower skilled youth, is job shedding as e-retail accelerates and human jobs in logistics, warehousing and delivery services are being robotized. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.